uh, uh, fun. I think a lot of opportunities as well for me. Like I study economics, so I'm also looking to work here after my studies. Um, yeah, I lived in Rotterdam West, uh, and uh, there you have a very diverse uh, group of people with, with different cultures, and uh, so that is something I, I also like the, the diversity in, in cultures and, and, and people that you meet, and uh, and also in, indeed the opportunities that you get here. So yeah, I think it's very nice because it's really an international city, and it's really open to the world, and they also have many connections. The city is very con well connected to the rest of Europe and while I'm studying at Erasmus University so it's really easy to meet people from all around the world and I think that's the thing that uh, the best thing of living in Rotterdam. Well I felt before going from Amsterdam to Rotterdam or actually when deciding going to Nijmegen from going to Nijmegen to Amsterdam I actually wanted to go to Rotterdam because I felt like the vibe was just very cool. Like it was this totally different city than all other cities in the Netherlands are. Like it has this way more um, kind of modern urban vibe that I didn't really see in any other Dutch cities. Same kind of reason as you moved here because it was a, a very different city in the Netherlands because the Netherlands is very known for its quaint historical kind of streets and uh, uh, very aesthetic kind of uh, yeah vibes and Rotterdam doesn't have that it has this like working class mentality of do it yourself and of course these are things that everybody knows yeah. about Rotterdam but when you're here you actually feel it like the people are all fairly chill but on the other side it still has a big city vibe so as a newcomer you feel like you can wear whatever you want, you feel like you can be yourself and you won't feel like you're judged or that you're, um, yeah, people won't look at you yeah. funny or something like that because it, it has that also that big cosmopolitan also kind of vibe. Yeah. And coming from, I also lived in other places in the Netherlands for short periods and I remember living in those smaller places that that was something that I had to adjust to because like in Ireland, I was... Yeah, for, I felt like I was free to kind of be myself and I moved to the Netherlands and I, I really had to pare back down to like the jeans and t-shirt kind of vibe and then I moved to Rotterdam and I was like hey I can be myself again and I can yeah. dye my hair purple and I can yeah. so that's I think one of the things that I really loved about living here and I still have that when I come to yeah. Rotterdam now. Yeah and I also think that besides that social space it's also that it's one of the only cities uh, where there's actually a lot of physical space to like just to walk around and to cycle and to work out without like mm. being afraid that a car is going to hit you or something, which I always had in Amsterdam and I'm coming to Rotterdam. Mm. I actually feel like I can cycle without like being scared of cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more spread out. That's also yeah. like like in other Dutch cities, everything is really like close. Like you have Delft and, and Den Haag and Amsterdam and uh, Maastricht yeah. and all these other cities where everything is very close together. And here you have... It's more open, open plan, a lot of yeah. parks, a lot of like, green as well. Yeah. I don't know if it's, this is going to change in the years to come, but it still has a bit of an up and coming vibe to it. So it has a lot more room and space for the development of these smaller kind of initiatives. So like the creative industry here is kind of like blooming and growing at an exponential kind of rate, while in places like Amsterdam, it's a bit stagnant yeah. because there is such competition and stuff. So being us in the kind of creative industry and researching creative yeah. industry, it feels like you're in a bubbling, bubbling, vibrant kind of place because yeah. it is it has this like uh, this up, yeah, up and coming kind yeah. of vibe. And like anything can happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have the, the opportunity to kind of do this. There's a lot of like also want and uh, need. And this is new, right? Because this wasn't mm -hmm. there like I've, I've heard 10 years ago or something. So yeah. that's also kind of exciting. So. I think that's also maybe my favorite thing about it as well. Yeah. Um, well, for sure, all, all the great uh, things that Rotterdam has offers, so like the the, 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 uh, the bridge and, and the, the, the cube. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, modern modern architecture. Yeah. Like that. Um, so the, the, the sightseeing uh, places, all the, so look for them. Because that's the thing about Rotterdam, uh, it doesn't give its things away immediately. You have to search for the, for the good spots and for the, for the nice uh, places. So go and search for those places, I would say. 
Yeah. No, but maybe, um, yeah, for example, you have the Markthal building. It's very nice architectural. And inside, you have a lot of food stands. And that's not where the real Rotterdam people go. They go to the market outside, for yeah. example. Which is huge, uh, cheaper, but also way more variety. I would say go yeah, where the usual Rotterdam people go. Oh, well, it's the only Dutch city that has a skyline. So I think it already tells a lot about the city. And since the city was really bombed during the Second World War, it's a city that was completely... It's a new city. It's a city really open to the world. They have a, cl a clear idea of what they want to achieve. Rotterdam doesn't have a city center, so really check what you want to visit first because you will have to move around. But you can go cycling, so that's really nice. I like how the city is open to all those creative spaces like uh, the, the square with all the theatres and the museum square as well. So I like that they created those spaces that are really for art and where the people can enjoy it for free as well in front of the, of the main halls and museums take the intercity direct from Amsterdam because that's probably where they are. That's the easiest <laughs> way to go. <laughs> you tell a visitor to come bring good ring gear? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like if they asked me if they should come, I would definitely say yes because it's it's so different from other Dutch cities and it's like actually super close so why wouldn't you? Yeah and I also would suggest to try and talk to a local or people that you meet on the street just for the fact that they're gonna know the best places to go and this probably goes the same for every single city but um, I think in Rotterdam it's maybe a little bit harder to find because what you notice with Rotterdam is everything is very spread out like you have things across the river you have things in the north there's all these really nice hidden areas of the city yeah that are all like up and coming, we could even say they're kind of gentrifying, but uh, <laughs> there are all these nice little areas um, that are special to the city and you won't find them easily. Like I, I've yeah. talked to also quite a lot of tourists who have come here yeah. and also said, where do I go? And because yeah. it is a bit, you come, you come in at Central Station and it's not evident where the area is. So I think that it's hard to find those spaces and you should probably talk to a local to find them. And people are actually really friendly, maybe also because there's not a lot of tourists yet, so you can just ask and people won't be annoyed. 